What's up guys, I'm in California for a couple days and I need to hit up some video game stores because I'm itching to get stuff. So first stop is Gameplay in Los Angeles. Right away I know I'm going to like the place. They got Super Mario All-Stars playing on the TV and a pretty good selection of games just from first glance. So, you know, I'm itching. I'm itching for some different stuff. So I'm going to go check out what they have for GameCube because you never know because GameCube's one of those consoles, you know, there's a lot of good exclusives for it, so I'm just gonna see what they have. Some pretty cool titles. Pretty cool titles. I spot Sonic Adventure DX. Not a rare game, but I have Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. And being able to have both games would be pretty awesome. I think it would be a cool thing to have in my collection. Nothing really special for PlayStation 2 or Xbox. I mean, there's some good games in there, but I already own a lot of them. So, it's mostly $5 games that, you know, are really common, and like I said, I already have a lot of these, so I'm just going to skip over it, same with Xbox. And out of the corner of my eye, the corner of my eye, I spot arcade sticks. And, you know, I've been wanting to get an arcade stick, I love fighters, I love, well, Tekken's my favorite, and then comes Street Fighter, Soul Calibur, um, King of Fighters, there's a whole bunch of great series out there. But I spotted a really cool Soul Calibur arcade stick for Xbox 360. There's no price on it. Now, I'm torn. This would be awesome to have. But, with no price there, if I ask, I know it's going to be expensive. It's going to be at least just as, as expensive as the other ones they have there. So I'm just going to not ask because I know if I, if I find out, I'm going to be tempted to buy this thing and that's pretty much the only thing I'm going to be able to walk out of here with if I do that. Now it's time to look at NES and Super Nintendo stuff. So I'm checking out Super Nintendo and NES. That's why I'm here. That's why I came to this store. I'm looking for Super Nintendo and NES stuff. And right away, I noticed they have Final Fantasy, Super C, and Bubble Bobble. Now, I'm not really a huge Final Fantasy fan, but I do need Bubble Bobble and Super C. Prices aren't bad, they're, they want 11 for Bubble Bobble and 22 and even though it is a couple bucks below eBay, and for me, that's worth it. I knew that going in here I wasn't necessarily going to find any deals. I thought it was going to be more expensive, to be honest, I thought it was going to be way more expensive than it is. If I'm ever back in LA, I'm definitely coming back to Gameplay. This is a really cool store, it's small, but their prices are very fair. Next up, we're hitting up San Francisco at the Fisherman's Wharf. We're going to hit up an antique arcade. They have a hundred years of arcade gaming here. So everything from the early 1900s to the early 2000s. So there's a, a good variety here. And there's Atari stuff, Sega, Nintendo, Namco. So they got Pac-Man. I'm seeing the old Star Wars Atari game. Uh, they got Neo Geo. The old stuff is probably the most fascinating, the stuff from the early 1900s. They have creepy clowns that will definitely torment your nightmares and make you cry. I was crying. It scared me that much. <laughs> uh, so I'm looking in the game that caught my attention the most, Tekken 3, the actual arcade cabinet. Now that's a game I played a lot of, it's one of my favorites. And it's also one of my sister's favorites, and we need to settle a score of who is the better sibling. <laughs> right, let's play. Which one is the Stop, I'll do that one. Or hit punch. This is fucking insane. What? <laughs> That's bullshit. <laughs> 
even though I lost, I still feel I'm still the better player. And, you know, we didn't get on tape, but after we played that, we did a rematch and I did win two times in a row. So I still feel I'm the better player, but, you know, I'm not a sore loser. I'm glad that she definitely put a lot in. California was awesome. I wish I got to hit up more places, but the shops that I did hit up, you know, I thought it was awesome. I don't want to leave. Wish I could stay. Yeah. Until next time, guys. Peace out.